Hi, this is Tiffany, and you're joining me for the last episode of the short series we've been running while away from our regular broadcast. I'll be sharing my pick from the public domain. Now, the public domain can be a pretty confusing place, as we found, and not all permissions are created equal. A good look at the parameters of the copyright license is still necessary in every case. So particularly deserving of gratitude are artists with quality recordings that are indeed free to use and to adapt. Released under such a license is his next performance, a true find given that it is, in my opinion, of one of the most atmospheric and evocative works in the orchestral repertory. In fact, a little search will reveal that the recording has already been pressed into service to score a short film about an Indonesian dancer discovered by Leopold Stokowski in the early 20th century. A fitting use of the work by Claude Debussy, who was famously entranced by the sound world of the Balinese Gamelan Ensemble. The Danse Sacre et Danse Profane is a seamless pair of dances created in 1904 by Debussy for the harp company Playel who wanted a showcase for the new invention, a chromatic harp. This instrument was put forward as an alternative to the existing pedal harp with its cumbersome mechanism. However, its sheer size, including the bewildering number of strings, each of which, of course, had to be tuned, made it ultimately unviable. Debussy himself did the practical thing, making sure the solo part of the dance could be played on both the chromatic harp and the conventional pedal harp. Also, incidentally, the piano. Today, the Danse Sacre et Profane is a concert hall favorite, while well surviving the demise of the instrument for which it was first composed. The work transitions easily from the mystical gravity of the sacred dance to the lilting waltz of the earthbound dance, perhaps suggesting that there is, after all, little to distinguish the two realms in its creator's perspective. Master Sergeant Karen Grimsey is our harpist, and she is joined by the United States Marine Band under Major Jason K. Fedick in this performance of the Danse Sacre et Danse Profane of Claude Debussy.
The graceful danse profane comes to a joyous conclusion in Claude Debussy's beautiful work of 1904 for harp and string orchestra. The danse sacré et profane, or sacred and profane dances. The recording, featuring Master Sergeant Karen Grimsey as solo harpist, with the United States Marine Band under Major Jason K. Fedick, is in the public domain under a Creative Commons Attribution 3.0 license. And you can find it, enjoy it, and reuse it in a creative work, subject to the parameters of the license, so do look it up on imslp.org. That's all for this series. Dizzy Affy presents her picks from the public domain. I hope you enjoyed it. All the episodes, presented by Dawn, David, Julia, Daniel, and myself, will be on our YouTube and SoundCloud channels if you wish to revisit them in the future. Thanks for joining me, Tiffany, and I look forward to meeting you again on our regular broadcast. Mm-hmm.